All right, Big Bang, it's the rundown. It is uh, Tuesday. It's October 31st, Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, happy birthday to Megan making money. Thank you. And uh, we have another employee birthday. Shout out Kirk Minahan. Shout out Kirk. Happy birthday, Kirk. <laughs> A lot of late uh, October birthdays. And Nick Saban. So. Sydney Nick Wells Saban. was like two days ago, three days ago. Bun- bunch of just geniuses on yeah. Halloween. Dave's was yesterday. Mm-hmm. So happy birthday. Dave uh, won that. Yesterday. Oh, and we added a new Barstool baby yes. yesterday as well. Kate, congratulations on Buckshot. Yep. Shout out Buckshot. Happy birthday to him. Lots of birthdays. Great Good stuff. vibes. It is. Uh, today's rundown is presented by C4 Performance Energy. Energy that hits. Uh, in the gym and on the field, it is the choice for athletes, gym junkies, and all of those who relentlessly seek better performance. With zero sugar, enhanced endurance, and explosive energy, you can feel C4 Performance Energy is a choice for professional athletes like Justin Fields, Garrett Wilson, CJ Stroud, and B. John Robinson. That's some good company. It it's really good company. I'm looking company. at this label right now, only five calories in this whole thing. Mm-hmm. That's impressive considering it's an energy drink. Um, I also C4. like the name Frozen Bomb Sickle. That sounds like yes. that sounds like something that's gonna get you like yes. right. Yes, I like Frozen Bomb Sickle a lot. Uh, C4 Performance Energy, energy that hits. Find the C4 Yellow Can at c4energy.com or find it near you at findc4.com. Uh, yeah, I see it all over the Barcel office now. So yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It says um, it's clinically studied to fight fatigue and power muscular endurance, and it's NSF sport certified, tested and certified for pro- professional and collegiate athletes. Really cool uh, new thing. Boom! Go grab some C4. Uh, first topic here: Monday Night Football. Lions beat the Raiders. Uh, I had the pleasure of watching the Bears on Sunday night. I couldn't do any more primetime football, especially considering that the Raiders were the team involved when we are horrible and we beat the shit out of them the week before. So I went to see uh, Killers of the Flower Moon instead. So any commentary on this game uh, would be presented by you two. It, I mean, it was, it was, it was a shitty Monday night football game in the middle of fall with like nothing else to watch. He had it on in the background. Uh, Obviously, Devontae Adams, he's one of the best wide receivers in all of football still. However, Jimmy Garoppolo, he's probably cooked. For as much as people, how far as good as people think Jimmy Garoppolo mm-hmm. looks, he is playing the exact opposite. Oh, awful. Dare I say bring in Kaepernick? <laughs> I mean, if you want to start a shit show, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a horrible football team. I mean, Adams, 10 Adams for 21, 126 yards, one interception, no touchdowns. That's awful. Pretty fucking bad. <laughs> I will say, though, just obviously from looking at the box score, Jameer Gibbs had a day. Montgomery mm-hmm. was not there. But that's a, that's going to be a good two-back tandem down the stretch. Two Amon Ross sure. and Brown's a stud. Laporta looks like, I mean, he's an upper echelon tight end at this point. Uh, and obviously, Goff has been doing what you need to do to put them in a spot to win. That offense is a wagon. And Which is crazy for the Detroit Lions. So shout out to uh, Detroit and all the Lions fans. For being pretty decent. For well, once. my thing <laughs> is, is I feel like people just were like shitting on Jared Goff for the longest. And, you know, I feel like he's always been a serviceable quarterback. He went to a Super Bowl. I, he's all, I mean, he's a better Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I would say he's a better uh, Kirk Cousins. You guys, they're, they're, they're similar. I mean, obviously Cousins is hurt now, but... Kirk, Kirk was playing his ass off before he got He's hurt. A he, good can, he can play his ass yeah. off, and then he could literally play his ass off and, like, lose his ass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying that's not a shade on either of them. No, I, I think that's a – I think Kirk both Cousins very is, serviceable. like, the but Kirk epitome is, of just, like, a pretty good quarterback. Kirk is veteran serviceable. Yeah. Service I think veteran. <laughs> I think they're a little better than serviceable. Yeah, yeah. Personally. Yeah. But – I, I, I get what you're trying to say. There's 16. I mean, 16 would be the, the middle of the pack number. I would say they're like 12, 13. Probably I, I don't, off I don't the top that. of my head. And which again, is this fun. is not me shitting on either one of them. I just you I, just need a lot around them to like win the whole thing. I was I'm actually saying that I'm more impressed with Jared Golf, and I feel like people should should He's give him a little awesome bit more credit. Yeah. But I, there was a ton of like it was after last season. A lot of Lions fans were saying like, "Oh, you should be afraid." I'm like, even with the Lions having their best team in a long time right now, it's still the Lions. I'm. 
Like no one's afraid of the Lions. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I mean, the NFC does kind of suck though. That offense is is real. <laughs> and Dan Campbell like, is just like a. It's a, he's a real threat. Like every time, even if you like, don't. If you go to bet the Lions, you're you're like you factor in Dan Campbell. If you mm-hmm. go to, you to, to bet against the Lions, you factor in Dan Campbell. <laughs> well, they just always have that like the sky is gonna fall at any moment syndrome. Right, like they as an be, organization. Sure, they could go twelve and four, and then the first playoff game they play in, it's like, oh no, like that's here comes kinda, a dark cloud. Like I wouldn't be surprised. If, I wouldn't be surprised if they won the NFC, but I wouldn't be surprised if they lost in the first you round. Would be surprised you? I just if they beat the Niners or the Eagles. Niners I'd don't say they'd be good. The right Niners now. are on a skid like sure. no other. But I will say the Bengals are are I think that last game was a, an, a weird outlier. I feel like the Bengals are better than people are thinking they are, and I feel like the 49ers are just on a weird skit. I mean, they're on yeah, a three-game, yeah, they bad, they're, bad, bad skit. Backs against the wall in a playoff game, you take the Lions over the Niners even right now? I don't think that it's – I don't, I don't think, think I could. I don't yes. know that I would. I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions won, though. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Sure, but – They're I mean, one of the yeah. better – They're absolutely, unequivocally, one of the better teams in the NFC. However, they're the Lions, totally. and I don't expect any sort of sustained success out of this organization because they're the Lions. I don't know. And I know how – and I've said this before. I know a stinky organization when I see one. That's just a <laughs> stinky organization. Every stinky organization will have those outlier years like the White Sox and Bears and whoever else. I'm hoping else. it's not, though. It's a good story because Goff was just such a throw-in for that Stafford deal. Like he was kind of remember that it was a, it was a money course, thing. Yeah, yeah, it's relevant to us because like the Cutler Kyle Orton deal, like he was just a throw in, and yeah. then like, but it's like, hey, like that's like kind of a serviceable throw in. Obviously, Goff is better than Kyle Orton, but yes. how you know happy I mean? do you think Matt Stafford is just to be out of Detroit and out of the Lions organization? I was we interviewed Max Struess last night, now of the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I've always wondered what it feels like for an athlete to go to somewhere like Miami with Struess to Detroit. And on the flip side, to go somewhere from different. L.A., I don't know, like though, golf man, to I, Detroit. I think it depends on what you're about. Like, the people in Detroit eat, sleep, and breathe Lions football. That's not the case for a no, lot of people they, in L.A. I, I understand that. I'm talking about just living. Yeah, I think my thing, my, yeah. the weather and the, like, your quality of, li- like yeah. quality of life. So it's like, do you want to play for a, a, a stadium full of fans or do you want to have that beautiful beachfront home on the weekend yeah but can we be honest <laughs> all right sure it's fucking you know negative 10 but he's going to his heated seats escalate and he's going to his mansion after like it life's not that bad by the way i got my first city. taste of snow this morning yeah, you did throw that Ever? out there uh this is the first time i mean i've seen it but like this is the first time it's really come down if you will <laughs> yeah it has it's and early. This is the earliest I snow I can remember. I didn't even see it. This is it like was. It was. Now. It accumulated a little bit. Yeah, really? from it like was, nine. It was to very depressing. Nine to ten. It was coming down. I took a little. Fu- it was time snow. Lapse. Snow. It wasn't just like flurry fake snow. It was, it was pretty snow. fun. Wow. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. It's so depressing. Yeah. It shouldn't happen in October. Speaking of depressing, we should probably move on to this next topic, which is the Rangers <laughs> being in the World Series and not the Astros. But that's neither here nor there. I like it. I took them <laughs> in the draft on Monday for. Uh, Biggest sports heartbreaks. They went back to back, losing in the World Series, and it came down to the last strike. So, I don't know. Multiple I'm rooting times, for the I'm rooting yeah. for the Rangers. And uh, I mean, I, like I said, I went to the movie last night. So I don't know if anyone has anything on this. I'm also not very interested in this series. I was kind of disinterested after that uh, great CS that we saw. So I will say at. before the season started, uh, this was back whenever I had a show with a former coworker. I said, out of you know, in in my Astros division, I am terrified of the Rangers this year. All they need to do is tweak their rotation a little bit, but they have an insane just like their lineup. Just one, two, three, four, five. They, they are insane, and here they are in the World Series. And I probably should have put a future on that, but it felt felt nasty to put a Rangers future yeah, as an Astros fan. The emotional it's hedge. It's funny. It's funny because I, I saw a tweet the other day of someone in the White Sox Twitter. And I don't mean to make this about the White Sox. I don't want you to get mad. Uh, but someone said uh, spending 500 and something million oh, on, yeah, yeah. on Simeon Seeger and who was the third one? Uh, like DeGrom was in there. Yeah. No, Maybe. it was someone else. It was, it was a bat. Oh, it was a bat. It was a, I forget uh, who it was. Simeon right. Seeger. And someone else. And they're like uh, – if you would want to do that, like have at it, but I don't think that's how you win. Though. That obviously like, that's the dumbest fucking thing of all time. So it was you uh, get the best players when they're available. It's having worked. good players is a good thing. It's worked. It's worked. They want they lost a hundred fucking game, hundred and one. I want to say two years ago in twenty twenty one. Here they are in the they and they said this is unacceptable. They they overpaid 
not overpaid. They 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 paid to right their wrongs. So they went out and got the best players. They're like, eh, if we want, you know, obviously it's better to have a shortstop like Kyle Seager on a on an entry level rookie, you know, making eight nine hundred thousand a year. Sure, I, but I, when you don't have them in your system, you go and fucking pay for them. I will and that's say that's what this owner does. It's Shout pretty him. pretty disgusting though. The way that that ump was calling his balls and strikes last night. So I I had it on TV two last night. I wasn't watching closely enough to really give a shit either way about the umps. But um, prior to the series starting, I did see this. Um, now, granted, this is just from Umpire Auditor on Twitter. It does have ninety thousand something. Um, Those are followers. accounts you can trust. I feel. Yeah, like. yeah. So I mean, I'd say take it with a grain of salt, but also not. It's probably good at the same time. So uh, it, there's seven total umpires assigned to the World Series. Six are actually playing with one backup. DJ Rayburn was ranked 75th out of 92. Quinn Walcott was the best umpire this year, ranked first. Then after that, it was Alfonso Mar- Marquez last night's home plate ump, 77th out of 92. David Rackley, 68th out of 92. Brian Knight, 33rd. Vic Carpassa, 60th and then the backup or the crew chief is uh, Bill Miller 53rd. So it's a bunch of guys in like the last third why of are, umpire rankings. Can I ask why are we why aren't we getting the top 20? It doesn't to, make sense to me. I don't and I granted, you know, baseball might have their own um system on how they evaluate their umpires. I'm sure they do. However, like why would you not want the best six on the field? So shit like last night. I mean, it didn't really affect the game in the in the end from what I saw at least, but it's like you want you don't want them to affect the game in any single way. And that doesn't even include baseball. I don't want any sport. I don't want robot in your umps. championship series. I don't want them. But like games like that where I'm like, like I can physically see it as a strike and it's being called a ball. It's mm-hmm. like, like where I don't want to be like the, you know, stereotypical. Where are y'all is at? But like, seriously, like that's, mm-hmm. it's so frustrating. They, they use the Atlantic league, which is an independent league to test out, like new shit for baseball all the time, like the bigger bases, uh, replay, blah, blah, blah. And they did have replays for balls and strikes. It was literally, it's not like you had to call time, go and review it. It's like they had an earpiece and it's like, that was actually strike up oh, strike. There's no time wasted. You know, why can't we do that? I don't know. You don't want it's officials baseball. affecting the outcome in any game, let alone your championship, whether it's a world series, super bowl, NBA finals, you know, Stanley cup finals, doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. And it sounds like these umpires are all dog shit aside from Quinn Walcott. Shout out to him for being uh, good at what he does. Uh, next topic here. In the middle of the night, Wojnarowski breaks that James Harden has been traded to the L.A. Clippers. Uh, blockbuster, Jim, James Harden's national nightmare is over. He is out of Philadelphia. Daryl Morey and him are separated. And uh, I, I know... You, you could start it off if you have anything. I know you guys were. Didn't like, he yeah, say like he just wanted to like he wanted to be on the Clippers like that's the only team he wanted to be on? Or was that? Am I mistaken? I don't recall. I just know he wanted to get the fuck out of, out out of Philly. Uh, Philly. So honestly, Philly, I I saw as well. Philly's in a pretty good spot where they're gonna have like fifty to sixty million open next year, and they're gonna have a bunch of players on expiring contracts. So they're kind of just setting up their their tanks to compete next year. I mean, and they've started well. I'm not going to say they can't compete this year, but when you, you know, the box and the, the Boston Celtics look pretty good. So I think this is, it's a move that's going to set them up pretty, pretty nicely. And they'll be happy in the long run that James didn't want to stay in my opinion. So, uh, I don't know if you guys ever. So it's like a win-win for everybody. It sounds like Ed. I think so. I mean, we'll see. Does this affect the bulls? Um, seventh championship odds. Uh, no, <laughs> does not. Does not. I like Robert Covington going back to Philly too. He was he he. I always liked him with 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 uh, the Sixers. He was like born and bred Chicago guy who was like just great for Philly. So that's kind of a nice homecoming. And in, in the midst of this weird deal that sent Batum, Marcus Morris, him, KJ Martin, and draft picks. So, uh. It, NBA, another year, another James Harden team. That That's really all there is to it. Yeah. Right? Uh, NBA going to NBA. Yeah. Am I right? Uh, next topic here, Missouri High School teacher is her only fans found. It's the second teacher at the school. Um, last month, Brianna Coppage was outed. Uh, this time, Megan Gaither. 
Uh, and the other teacher, since her only OnlyFans was found, uh, she's reportedly made a million dollars. I don't think she regrets it. Why would she? As a teacher, making not great money. Only, I mean, you do have the summers off, so that's awesome. Oh, don't tell a teacher that. They freak out. No, but... We're a, working through all a, the summers. A million dollars versus having This to is the old up. one, though. This is the old one who got a million dollars. The teacher who just got popped... I mean, we'll see what her. Tally I have a ends. feeling. Oh, her tally. it made it to the was it if it's on our post or yeah. if, I mean, it, if it's on here, she's about to make some bank. Oh, sure, yeah. sure. Oh yeah. Do oh, you think yeah. this was a sneaky fast one she pulled? I that's that was what I was gonna say, Ed. Where I, she's like, oh, yes. I'm gonna make one quickly, and I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna have it founded, you know? Um, I don't know. I would say that like there's a lot of people that are like that, but did so she. So, so the old one, how how much in cahoots were they? Like how when was the one first? They said one they found? were best friends. So when was the first one found, and when was when was the second one found? So um, like, I th- I th- she was a couple weeks ago. I would assume within this school year. So when did school yeah, start? Like couple September first. So yeah. yeah, I don't think it, I think if anything, they maybe like made it together potentially. Like if you, I'll do it. If you do it, like no one else can know about it. But I want someone else to do it. Like look how much money all these girls are making. Yeah. And then this one. One of them, obviously, being teachers talk a lot. They teachers in the I've teachers lounge. Bram, oh, bram, yeah. Bram, bram, oh bram. yeah, I've learned. So that. someone told someone else, and someone else mm-hmm. got pissed about it because they weren't getting their like we- weekend bonus or whatever, you know, for working aftercare. It could be they, they more snitched. than that, though. It could be like she got mad at her, and she's like, "Oh, she, she's making more money than yeah, me." Yeah, she was higher up at the at the school, and she's like, "I'm getting, you know, I'm gonna." It could it could be very diabolical like that. Girls can Mm -hmm. can do that. Yeah, they can. Megan Megan shouldn't Megan shouldn't have done that to her friend or vice versa. And then she (laughs) may have saw how much money she made. She was like, oh shit, I want to be out of two. All I have to say is the students at South uh, Saint Clair, I believe it's Saint Clair High School, are the luckiest students of all time. Well, it depends on how they look, right? I I teachers. Yeah, have you? They're 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 good looking. Oh, what I see. I don't. I don't know about y'all, but maybe we had maybe like one like decent looking teacher in high school. Like there's always that one. That's How big like was a, your high school? Oh, uh, it depended. The the one that I the graduate my graduating class for the one that I went to was like 150 kids. Okay, mine yeah. was a lot bigger than that. Mine was like my graduating class was like 600, so like four times that. We had plenty of hot. Teachers. We had way more guy teachers. Shout that, out Miss Smith. I'll that say that because Smith's like, so popular of a name. That were like decent looking and tried to get with students. Then we did like girl teachers that were attractive. We had like old lady teachers. Really, I went yeah. to an all boys school, so even uh, even all the all the teachers were male. No, it was oh. there. No, the, the, there were women teachers too. So even like you know the margin was not uh, very high. Like y- the, y'all all just had boners. Well, yeah, I mean <laughs> like you know you like you talk you know there's like the expression like office hot. Yeah, yeah. Like you're at all boys school and you're a woman teacher. Like there's yeah, teacher I, I, it, make, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. it makes teacher sense. hot like sure. gets pretty like wide. So we're talking like a, <laughs> an eight turn or a three turns into an eight. <laughs> pretty much, dude. Pretty much. But you know what I mean, though. Imagine that, like such a wild thing. And I, I, you can't blame the teachers for doing it, but the fact my, that these okay. Kids, so my thing I is, want, why why should they get in trouble yeah, for it? I, I was just you about know, to say, they're not doing anything illegal. They're not that, that I'm aware of. And then I don't know if the, it's like a breach of contract or something. I don't think it is. And unless the kids are like subscribing and paying their like parents money, I guess, to the OnlyFans. Like, I mean, I guess like, like if you go to us in class and your students know that you're on OnlyFans, maybe that becomes a bit of a distraction. You know, maybe they're like pulling up pictures sure. and being like, oh, yeah. Miss Megan, blah, 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 blah. And like showing the picture where she's like half bent over her, her like with her teacher's glasses and her pencil in her mouth, you know. Yeah, listen, <laughs> I, I, I get it. I agree. It's like, whatever. Right? But that's my perspective now. Now, if I was a parent, and I don't right. know what content know. she's putting it, out there. I know, I know, I know. If she's that's... fucking on there drilling herself with a, you know. A drill dough? Mr. Yeah. <laughs> drill nice, dough. Yeah, the you drill, or, did you drill see dough. The, or the chindo. You're you a big chindo this, guy, um, right? I don't know what the chindo is. You put, you put like, you strap something to your oh, chin. A, a dildo on your chin. Oh, yeah. I, I, Did you see I this quote, guys? I just know the dildo. Yeah. It said, however, however, a student had allegedly seen her in the background of one of Brianna, Brianna's OnlyFans videos and slipped a note under the door that said, I know your secret. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, kind of, that's diabolical. That's kind of fitting for Halloween. It's kind of yeah. like, I know what you did last summer. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> But just like, I know your secret. Ryan Phillippe's about to get whacked. Quick all A's, uh, am I right? I just, I, my grades, my GPA would shoot the hell up. Oh, I would use it sure. as blackmail for sure. Why would, would you not? I would, be, Either, I would never go to but class. Like, in the end, like, homework. she does want to get caught, obviously. There's yeah. no, she wanted to get caught. Well, that's fine. 
I would have done the same thing had I been in her shoes. Her so and her husband are planning on moving cities. Men, Megan says to she plans to career, reactivate yeah. her account. And yeah, she's about to become. I feel a like I mean maybe some of this is is this foreshadowing. We're in a <laughs> <laughs> we're in a wild time. It is wild. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, the internet am i right boys uh, it really is crazy uh last topic here uh dollarita steve dollarita steve describes his earthquake experience uh this guy this video plays <laughs> this guy was slamming dollaritas at applebee's <laughs> and uh, he just felt a big shake yeah i don't know if you can cue the video whoever's editing this uh but cue the video if not it's a hilarious video uh dollarita steve was just getting shit faced with the fellas on dollaritas <laughs> felt a little little tremor little 3.9 richter scale earthquake and and he lived to tell the story on on live news just a guy slamming some dollaritas what's wrong with that ed you ever done a dollarita no but i want where is that i don't know applebee's don't, is yeah. that applebee's can you imagine the hangover from the oh my like god the amount, the amount of, sugar of sugar and the dollaritas poor tequila they're using Blah. white Sox day is too good for applebee's no i'm not who said that I thought you said that you I, I brought not, it up I, the other day. I, about, think, uh, I think that might have been me. I don't love Applebee's. I'm not a big Applebee's girl. I did find like a grasshopper in my food there once. Really? Yeah. Aren't grasshoppers gross. like a delicacy in some countries? I'm sure that they are. But for not me for personally, yeah. I did not want it in my salad. No, yeah, they no, do no, like no, chocolate no. covered okay. ones at like Mariners games. Yeah, that's, that's oh, yeah, awesome. That is, yeah, that's a yeah. Mariners game. I'm yeah. not going to I'm not going to eat bugs until I have to. That's just. There's a movie I watched on that where it's a ch they're in a train. I forget what movie it's called, but the back of the train they have to eat bugs, and like each each train is like a different section of like, ri like uh, class of society. I don't know, I'll well, think of it in a minute. Uh, what, you say you're not gonna eat any birthday bugs? <laughs> no birthday bugs. Oh, no, no, none, none for me, thank you. You're yeah. 32, correct? Wow, well, I'm 31. 31. Ugh. <laughs> Yuck. How old are you? 47. 35. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah. Damn, we're all. You are correct. We're all denominations two years apart. Your knee's going to give out? Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Oh, 33. yeah. You just turned 30. 33, yeah. yeah. What day were cool you again? That. The 12th or something? 10th. 10th? Mm hmm. You don't qualify. What does that mean? For the late October birthdays. I oh. would have given you like the 22nd. Oh. Are you, are you guys Libras? No, we're Scorpios. Scorpios. Oh, yeah, we're not even the same sign. Yeah. I would Scorpio. Are you into that shit? Yeah. Scorpios are like really headstrong. They're known mm -hmm. to be really um, like fierce and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, supposedly very like sexy, sexual, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. like it's a, it's a fiery <laughs> mm -hmm. sign. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of like more negative. Well, b I did say some negative, like we're know-it-alls and uh, you know, things of that nature, but. We're also really kind-hearted. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can go mm -hmm. look and see my um, what my, my what's our sign say today. Well, it says have a day. It's your birthday. But I that's can it. I don't know. I can have it left it um, yet. Megan, you're uh, going trick or treating with your kids later. I am. Did it's they? Gonna be cold. It is. It's yeah. Are they like what the fuck? No, they're really ex actually. I don't know because they were at school whenever it started snowing today and. I had never wanted to be able to just go like yank my kids out of school so fast or like be able to text my son. I was like, just, I wanted to text him so badly. This is nothing. Wait until there's like actual snow. No, I know this yeah. isn't, is nothing, but it's just like the, just, I know how excited they were. They've been waiting for it. They've just been like yeah. counting down the seconds. That, oh, that yeah. won't last forever. I don't think. No, of course They not. wanted to wear shorts. You were saying though. Yeah. I see. <laughs> I think day. that, I have a theory that kids like don't r have near the the tolerance for extremes of heat that we do that I'm saying that they or they can tolerate it more. So like I remember in like sixth grade, I'd wear shorts to the bus stop like all through winter. Yeah, I don't for some reason. And kids like, like just care. don't feel they're, like they're just too. I think there's just too many other thoughts going on in yeah, their head to think like, about the weather. Yeah, my oh. legs are cold. It isn't yeah, calculated. Yeah, I'll really. just run. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, all right, anything else? Frank the Tank mascot video? Any thoughts?
<laughs> it's just, it makes me think of a furry convention. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were talking about this. Um, Mascots can who, do whatever they want. I think I, yeah, they I, can. Think <laughs> I was talking about this with Jared Kravis at the bar stool. Turn into stool. Tune into uh, Chicago vlogs. Our stool scenes on our YouTube Friday. What one did to you was like, I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, oh, the one the, 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 at the haunted house. Yeah. I was very taken back by that as well. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I, mean. I haven't seen that footage yet. Uh, what part are we the talking fl- about? Fluffy, whenever he, whenever he stuffed your shirt, what did yeah. he did to me before he, 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 he just threw it in your mouth. Yeah, he did. I <laughs> thought it was legit cotton candy at first, so I took a bite of it. I'm like, this is actual just cotton. Yeah, <laughs> tune into our uh, Barcelona Chicago, whatever we're calling. I was very Friday. taken back. It was, it was I just, I, he, he just walked up and he goes like that and I. I just went, I didn't think he was actually going to shove it in my He did. He did. shoved it in there. Megan gets one shoved down her mouth on YouTube on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Megan making money gets. Uh, I'm about to be like these. Down her throat I, I need a, a friend video. named Brianna to start an OnlyFans and bring me with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, that's what I mean. We're like, you put a costume on, you could do whatever the fuck you want. And people were obsessed with that guy. We'll talk more about it later, but yeah, like, yeah, his yeah. name was like Fluffy, and there was le- legit people coming f- to the haunted house to like have his like him sign shirts and like. Dude, I guess he's got like a billion a Instagram col- followers yeah. and shit. Yeah. He's and got a cult following. Yeah, he's got like a cult following on the internet where people were coming from out of state to take pictures with this guy and everything. Fuck yeah, Fluffy. Yeah. They were very like jealous that he was giving me special attention. Yeah, yeah, they were. <laughs> They were, he shoved he shoved a uh, a bunch of cotton down my shirt so it looked like I had one tit the entire video. <laughs> he and, refused uh, to take it out. People were like asking me for the cotton as like really? a souvenir and shit. Yes. Wow, it's crazy. Shout out to Fluffy, dude. Yeah, I'm excited to see this whole thing now. It was it was a ton of fun. You missed yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot so of much fun. fun. <laughs> it was yeah. so much fun. Well, that comes out on Friday if you want to go check out our YouTube Like, it's page. so much fun that I want to get a group of, like, ten people. We're going to go back because they also have paintball during the summer. Oh, yeah, yeah I heard that. I heard that. Um, all right, then. That's the rundown? That's the rundown. That's, That's the rundown. rundown. Thanks, shout everybody. Out Kate once uh, again. Have, yeah, yeah, shout out Kate. Happy Halloween. Happy Sh- birthday, Buckshot. Happy and, birthday, uh, Megan. Happy birthday, uh. Megan. <laughs> uh, wait, Buckshot um, was born today or yesterday? Yesterday. He's got your birthday. Yeah, he's got my birthday because I thought I saw that she was going into labor yesterday. Oh, yeah. So. They should have added. The, they should have. They should have added. Thrown in a David in there. They should have. I told her to do that <laughs> if he landed on mine. So if he landed nice. on, if he landed on your birthday, like he just flew out and, and um, landed on your birthday. <laughs> we we should bring him out to Dagon Day and just get him all sorts of fucked up. We got we got some time for that. <laughs> How have, long? Until at least till at least till he's like at least till Kate says yes or no. Okay. We that's, don't trust the Beave. Beave will probably leave him out at like six or seven. Kate will probably at least give him till like fourteen. 15. Yeah, like <laughs> early teens. Yeah. yeah, that's true. All right, okay. that's the rundown.